Taking it at him. How'd you see it? How'd I yeah. see it? Uh, you know, uh, just the beginning of the game, you know, they were, you know, they are good. They're long, they're athletic, and uh, defensively, they switch one through five. And I just felt like uh, the switches I got on me, I could really attack the basket. And uh, I've really been doing a better job of playing under control and, you know, getting to my spots on the floor and finishing at the rim. So uh, that's what I kept trying to do and just kept attacking the basket. And I felt like I could get downhill when I wanted to. What were some of the conversations on the bench when you guys were down nine? Uh, obviously, you know, at this team, you know, we're so close together. I just feel like everyone was telling each other, I trust you. You know, that was a big thing. We, I trust you, you know, I have your back. And, you know, we just kept just kept nipping away. You know, they made some runs, but we just kept fighting. And, you know, guys are just giving a selfless effort, I would say. Coach always preaches that selfless effort. And we're just really staying together as a team. And just, just everyone was like in the huddle, in the media timeouts, each one. Every guy was like, we're going to leave out of here with this win. And we did. You know, we're just coming together as a team. And it's just, we're really connected right now. And it's fun to be out there on the court. It's so much energy and passion. And the first conference win followed by the first conference road win. You guys gaining a lot of confidence from this? Yeah, we are. And, you know, each even though we lost a couple games in the beginning, we were gaining confidence from that because we know that we could be better. And like I said, uh, like I said uh, last time, you know, we never got down on down like we lost those first first four games. We never got down. Guys is angry because we know we can be better. And I think we're starting to show that now. We're just going to try to keep growing each and every each and every day in practice and each and every Big 12 game. Thank you, Mark. No problem. Mark, Mark, when they showed you on TV uh, after the game was over, it showed that you were kind of one of the first players out there to flash the horns down at at the Texas fans. How much enjoyment did you get out of out of tonight's game? Uh, it was fun, you know. Obviously, just the passion of playing the game, you know. Uh, I mean, probably should have had just a little more class, you know. Just I was a, you know, after the first time we played them um, at K State, you know. I just kind of remember they were celebrating and throwing up the emo sign, power cat and stomping on the power cat, things like that, and yelling at our fans. And I just, that just didn't sit well with me. I was real mad because we didn't have our full team and some of our key guys. And uh, I just really remembered that. And, you know, um, obviously we, we won this game and it was a big win for us. And obviously a lot of the guys that were playing, you know, were throwing it up too, but, uh, you know, they're a really good team and, uh, you know, I'm just I'm just glad we got the win. You know, that stuff doesn't really matter that what happened at the end of the game. I'm just glad we won. Hey Mark, I know you guys dug yourself a little bit of a hole here at the start of conference play, but these last two wins you think put you guys back on track where you can dream of the NCAA tournament, some of the stuff you guys were thinking of before the season. Uh yeah, I think guys, you know, what coach always tells us, you know, if you're not dreaming and you're not living and you know I think each and every guy on the team their goal is to get to that NCAA tournament and that's everyone's dream as well you know some of the guys haven't been there I know Mike Mike's been there you know obviously with the good K-State team uh, coaching them had earlier but um, none of the guys have been here like the guys Nigel, Sel, and Davion and you know I know that I want them to experience that you know being an older guy it was my first time last year experiencing that and you know I just want to get there for them and because I, you know, I love those guys. You know, I feel like I've known them forever. They're my brothers, and uh, I think that is the goal for each and every one. You know, we're just gonna keep growing, and you know, we don't know what can happen. We're just gonna keep growing and try to accomplish our goal as a team. Thanks, Mark. No problem. Go ahead, Cole. Hey, yeah. Hey, Mark. Um, just curious. Um, this will be your first. Um, KU K State game on Saturday. Just what are your uh, emotions and anticipations for that game? And just wondering if you had a message to, to the fans. Uh, you know, I'm really excited. You know, I've heard that game is really crazy. Um, you know, kind of, uh, I heard it's even crazier than the Bragging Rights game of Zoo in Illinois. And I know how those games can get. So, you know, and those games can be big momentum builders. So obviously we're just going to go in and, you know, keep working and keep trying to get better as a, a, a team and 
you know, I'm just really excited to see the fans. You know, Coach Lowry always tells me when this the uh, K State can be really special, and uh, you know, I'm really excited. You know, obviously we got two big wins, and I'm I'm excited to you know see because our fans are really great. Every time they've been there at the games, the Marquette game, even the Texas Tech game, you know, it was real loud in there, and it was really uh, fun to play in. Uh, next question for Arnie. Yeah, Mark, uh, going small at the end, uh, you ended up uh, guarding some of the, the bigger guys, but how did you feel that lineup worked defensively to your advantage? Uh, I think that lineup is a good lineup for us just because, you know, obviously Seldon can rebound, Mike can rebound really well, but uh, just we can switch, you know, those Mike and Sell are strong guys and Sell's a big guard too, where we can switch one through five. And, you know, obviously, you know, if we get in front, obviously how our defense is, we can help help each other out. And uh, I just thought that, you know, that lineup was good because Carr was starting to score and we could just push up switch and it wasn't a bad, he would have to go out and attack another guard. And uh, all we had to do was focus on getting that rebound. That, when we play those lineups, we really got to get back and grab those rebounds. And uh, I thought we grabbed the rebounds when we needed them. And also, uh, early in the game, uh, a bunch of missed layups. But did you guys feel like you were running the offense you wanted to? You were getting in the paint and getting a, creating a lot of chances. Or was it just a matter of, of settling in a little bit? Or Yeah, I think, you know, we were getting looks we wanted. We were moving the ball, you know. Uh, obviously doing what we worked on in practice and we were getting downhill and coach likes when we get in the paint, we score at a high percentage coach always tells us when we get in the paint, you know, and we, uh, as the game went on, we just started finishing our layups and, you know, we got each other going and we just kept building and we just kept, you know, we just kept fighting. And we were disciplined and I think we did a great job sticking to the game plan. Thanks. No problem. Okay, we're gonna um, we're gonna have Mike jump on now.